Hello fellow pilgrims and welcome back to Gengo no Tabi. First of all, I would like to say a huge thank you to Jem. She made a video response to my video, Japanese Verbs, where she spoke about verbs herself and she made some great points. Here's a link to her video. Please check it out. How many more of you are holding back your great study techniques or your Japanese language epiphanies? If you need help producing a video to share these with us, your fellow pilgrims, then let me know. I will be glad to give you a hand and do anything else I can. Do you ever feel like this? Uh... I do. I just did this video recently where I spoke a little bit about how I'm going to make another push forward with studying kanji. I always study Japanese, but I step away from studying kanji because it's tough. It's daunting. It's arduous. Uh, but I need to learn my kanji. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there who are in the same boat. You really know you need to learn your kanji and you want to study it, but maybe you're doing it now and you're struggling or you've stepped away from it a little bit like I have and you want to get back to it. So I'm going to put up some videos where I talk about what I'm doing or whatever just for food for thought for you or just for a platform so that you can comment beneath the video and say what you liked about what I'm doing or how you're doing, how your struggles are going, maybe just rant about how you almost pull out your hair that day studying kanji. Anyhow, um, Andreas, who we talked about in a video recently, uh, introduced me to this new study site called japanactivator.com. It is an awesome study site and I've been using it a lot. It has a kanji game. Let's head over there and check it out. I'm playing the kanji invasion game. Pick a level, pick what you're testing for, reading or meaning. Blow up the kanji before they get to you. When I don't know a kanji, I flip over to the next tab in my browser where I have the same site open, but it's open to the learning part instead of the game part. Here I can look up the kanji and get the reading. I can't cut and paste the kanji from this site though, so once I have the reading by looking it up here, I go over to my favorite online dictionary. learn more about it here and I can cut and paste the kanji and I put it in my favorite online kanji reference. There I get the stroke order. I like to use graph paper to draw kanji. It works good for me. I'm using two separate kanji reference books here. They both have their own unique attributes that I like about them. Uh, here I learn what the radical is and some other elements about it that will help me make associations and remember the kanji. I'm using James Heisig's Remembering the Kanji, Book 1, Great Aid, look it up. Kenneth Henschel's Guide to Remembering Japanese Characters. As I said, graph paper, coffee, very important, black, strong coffee in a filthy cup. 